Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the Transformers, Dinobots, Snarl, KO Beast Wars knockoff of the Last Night or Age of Extinction Snarl. This is a knockoff of the Age of Extinction Snarl. So yeah, sorry, he's a knockoff of the Age of Extinction Snarl, and he looks pretty cool. But yeah, I got this figure for only five bucks at Rossi's Flea Market, and I was so stoked to get my hands on this figure. It was an epic find. You know, at the thrift store. Never go wrong with getting a figure of none other than one of the Dinobots. And now it's been a minute, we're going to talk about it. We're going to look at the box and then transform the figure. But yeah, this is a Transformers Michael Bay knockoff. And it says, Dino Tech Warriors. Robot changes into dinosaur. And it shows the other ones they make. They make a Scorn, which I do not have. And they do make Swoop, Grimlock. It'd be nice if I could find Scorn or Swoop, because I'm already happy with the Grimlock I own. And it says, collect them all. And yeah, and this yeah, is a cool looking line of knockoffs. Until I get an official one, I'm definitely keeping this. But now we're going to look at his dino mode. Look at this sweet-looking Triceratops dino mode. This is an awesome-looking knockoff dinosaur mode. It looks good for a knockoff. I did give him some painted eye details because, you know me, he looked pretty bland without some eye details. And you know how I am about details. If it doesn't look good enough, I give it a little detail work. But now we're going to compare him next to the Age of Extinction Grimlock, based on the also the Age of Extinction and Last Night Grimlock, which I do own, if I can get him to stay together long enough for me to get him on the table standing next to this guy. But here we got Grimlock next to Snarl, and my Grimlock has a problem where he can't stand up on his own. Look. He's literally fallen down on the job. Oh, poor Grimlock. He's fallen down on the job. But now that we're done with this comparison, he looks pretty good next to Snarl. Knock off. But now we're going to get down to transforming him, which I've just memorized. First, we're going to split the head like so. Untab these sections here. Fold this panel Inwards, like so. Second verse, just like the first. And then straighten out his dino mode knockoff arms. Straighten out his legs is very simple. Flip down the feet. Flip this down to add some coverage to his knees. Second verse, just like the first. And there we got him nearly transformed. His tail also becomes a weapon, but I'm not a fan of it, but we will show it off as soon as I can get it unpegged without breaking it. <sighs> right, I'm going to break this thing the way it's designed. I guess it's supposed to be like a tail mace. But I just don't like it as much, see? It just uh, doesn't look so good. That's why it's probably just going to sit on the back when I put them on the shelf. I'm just not a big fan of it, as you think I would be. Not everything they design is picture perfect, especially when it comes to knockoffs, I'll tell you that much. But now we're going to put him back, his tail back once I get it to peg in, which is really tight. Straighten out his legs, and there he is in his dino mode articulation. He's got some knee bend, which is nice. He would have had a joint here, but I guess it's like really really molded. He's got elbows, if you 
See, he's got some movement in his arms, but no elbows. Because on this copy, it's not extremely good. As you can see, not extremely good. Otherwise, a good-looking figure. Can he wield the sword I have for Grimlock? Let's see. Oh, yeah, he can wield it. But it looks better on Grimlock. But now that we're done with this epic Age of Extinction knockoff in his robot mode, we're going to get down to comparison before we end the video. Which is very simple to transform Grimlock. I'm going to do this on camera. First, disconnect his legs. Split the dino mode head like so. I'm going to split the dino mode head if I can get it to work without breaking it. And we're halfway there. Rotate his Grimlocky head. Fold down the legs. Make sure you hear a click on those leg joints. Rotate the arms. Fold this up. Tab into place. Like so. So, so, so he, he tabs in. Trick is trying to get him to tab in into place to get his arms straightened out, which can sometimes be a pain in the neck if you don't know what you're doing, which I do. I've transformed this guy plenty of times. But there we got Grimlock, mostly transformed. Second verse, just like the first, rotate the arm like so. Rotate this, peg it in, and there we got Grimlock in his dino mode, and he looks pretty cool next to the Snarl knockoff figure. I do admit his arms are a little bit loose in places, but I think the eyes match up with one another pretty good, official and knockoff together in one collection. Do I highly recommend these? Yes, if you can't find the official figure of this guy, you can find this guy at like a flea market or online for a good price. He's worth five bucks, I'd say so. And Grimlock looks good right next to him. Now we got some of the his fellow Michael Bay style <laughs> Dinobots ready to go munch some Decepticons. And Grimlock has always been a childhood favorite of mine of the Dinobots. He's mean, he's fierce, you don't want to mess with Grimlock. Even my dog Teddy wouldn't mess with Grimlock, because he'd be Dino Chow. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you liked this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. But before we move on, we are going to be going to the new Roths location, opening up here in Pennsylvania, in Monroeville, and it is going to be 2200 square feet. This is the biggest Ross we've had in Pennsylvania. And this video will be done on Saturday. You get to see these epic reviews, plus this epic toy reviews of the month. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.